there's another great neural filter called depth aware haze. So let's apply it to this image. But first, notice this great shot and there's this blurry boat. So I'm just gonna quickly select it with the lasso tool, right click, go down to content aware fill, again, the new quicker access. It removed it for me, command D, push that down to its own layer by hitting command or control E. Now let's go over to filter neuro filters. And then let's go over to the beta filters and choose depth aware haze, turn it on. And let's just haze this up a little bit. Like it should be a foggy morning, which will desaturate the crazy colors too. I think that did great. Maybe add a little bit of warmth. It's processing. I'm gonna click okay, toggle it on and off. I like how it desaturated the clouds and made it look a bit more misty, but I, I do want some of my original detail. So I'll just add a layer mask, hit B for the brush, make sure black's in my foreground. And I'd probably tap four for 40% in the opacity, left bracket key to make my brush a little smaller. And I would just paint and then click again, just because I, I want this area to be the focus. So that's where we were. And that's with a little bit of haze and you can always lower the effect. Let's try it on this image. And I encourage you to try it on things you wouldn't think of. Like watch this. Turn on depth aware haze. Now you're like, well, this, this isn't really a, you know, a distant scene. No, it's not. Watch what it's gonna do. It's gonna make a selection around the primary subject. It's gonna allow me to really warm it up. But then instead of making it more hazy, I'll make it less hazy and watch what happens. Look at that. I basically just custom toned my background to color match his face. Click okay. So this is a really interesting way to use the filter in a way it wasn't designed to be used. Let's try it one more time. On this image, filter, neural filters, processing in the cloud. I think it did a great job. Click OK, man zero to fit back in screen. Toggle it on and off. Okay, I like what it's doing, but it did it too much in the foreground. So in this case, I would just add a layer mask, hit G for the gradient tool, and just make a subtle gradient right here just to make the distant area go more foggy. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.